Live from Austin, Texas, at the tech gathering of the year. They call it Spring Break for Geeks. Rackspace, the open cloud company, presents the Scobalizer with the movers, the doers, shaking things up and impacting our world. Now, Robert Scoble, the open cloud experience. Hey, th- welcome back to the uh, Rackspace Open Cloud Experience. We have the full uh, uh, champion sports bar here at South by Southwest, and we're going to be interviewing cool uh, entrepreneurs all day long who are using the cloud in a unique way, and sometimes not unique way, but uh, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun. The next, the next guy up is uh, from Transverse, who's doing the uh, building, and uh, that's not something I do every day, so it's going to be an interesting conversation. So who are you? My name is Chris Couch. I'm a co-founder and COO for Transverse. And what is it that you guys do? Uh, we help companies collect money. So we automate their AR processes. We provide subscriber management solutions. Um, we provide an all-in-one activity-based billing solution that lets you see your customers' activities in real time and monetize those in unique ways. Very cool. Th- this example of how South by Southwest really has changed over the years. When I started coming here, there was only 500 people. Now there's, I heard there's up, up to 200,000 people in town. It's pretty crazy. I heard 300,000. We're a local Austin company, so uh, we enjoy the craziness that get to go home at night. There's a lot of stuff happening in Austin. I met another company that's building a retail payment system here that's just starting up and just landed a big deal with a major uh, automobile re- uh, retailer. Um, what's going on? What, why is billing and finance happening here? What's going on here? Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily a, a hub, a finance hub, but uh, there are there's a couple of problems in a number of different markets today, and that is there's a lot of friction in collecting money from your customers. There's friction from manual processes inside of a, a, a finance department, um, trying to automate those AR processes, um, trying to reduce the mistakes that you make. Um, as customers make changes to their price plans, um, it takes a lot of people with hands on a spreadsheet to make that happen. Collecting payments from customers is now kind of an expensive proposition. You have to, if you're going to use credit cards, you have to be PCI compliant. That is a security uh, compliance that is not cheap to get and not easy to get and is a, a constant um, renewal with Visa or MasterCard directly. Wow. Um, so what, what's your unique, why you, why, is it, why not somebody else, why hasn't this been solved before? Well, for two reasons. Um, first, we're a SaaS based solution. So there are, there are big legitimate billing systems out there, but they're in the hundreds of millions of dollars in price. Uh, we bring that functionality to the cloud, and we, we sell it on the, at a price point that you would expect from a, an enterprise SaaS solution. Um, our our platform is all in one. It is we cover everything from customer care, order management, billing, revenue recognition, entitlements, um, and the big thing is we focus on customer activity. So it's not enough just to be able to charge your customer, say, $30 a month for a price plan, but your customers consume your service over time. If you can collect those activities, you can see those activities in real time, you have many different levers you can pull on in order to to make your price plans unique and more profitable. Very cool. Hold on a second. The audio guy, I'm hearing a ringing, and I'd rather bias this for the live streaming audience because that's the only people who are going to watch this right now. There's nobody else here. So, <laughs> um, so what's the challenge for your business? What, where, where are you uh, focusing on, and what, where, are you, where are you spending your t- days? Well, we are, the challenge for us um, is really we sell to a broad base of customers. We have customers in the logistics business or markets. We have healthcare companies. We have SaaS companies. We have packaged software companies. Um, those companies all have run into the same problem. They have grown their business to a certain size, and um, they have largely been billing their customers out of spreadsheets. Um, now, in order to add more customers, they add more bodies into that spreadsheet process. It takes longer to review the bills going out. They make more mistakes. Um, they leave revenue on the table, they make their customers unhappy. Um, so finding those customers, there's no, there's no big sign hanging out on, the, on their front door that says, hey, we have an AR problem, right? So going out and finding those customers and, and teaching them about what's available in the market is probably um, the biggest challenge right now. There's a lot of noise in the billing space, right? There's a lot of people that take 
uh, payment, auto payment processing or recurring processing, we call it billing. But billing is really a lot more than that. It's really about revenue recognition, order management, being able to make sure that when you sell something to a customer, I can actually bill for it. And if they decide they want it turned off, you turn it off on time. Um, what size company are you aiming at? I, I used to run a startup and do the books for the startup and do the billing. And that's quite a different problem than doing it at Rackspace, for instance, where we have 5,000 employees and 200,000 yeah, sure. customers. So um, we're not, startups are not a, a, a good fit for us. They're not our focus. Where we are a good fit are for companies who have seen an inflection in their growth. So they're usually five to six years old. Um, they're usually at a run rate that's north of $30 million. And that's when we start to see the problems occur in their finance department. They, they just simply can't keep up with the, the, the billing stream. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your company. How, how many employees and how are you funded? Um, we have about 45 employees today. We're located here in downtown Austin. Um, we're, we are privately funded. We just secured $22 million to expand our sales and marketing. Very cool to get to the customer. Um, what's happening in the startup community? Because I went on the startup crawl the other night and it was spectacular. I, I, I was like, wow, that Austin really has that great community here. Austin's growing like crazy. And uh, the startup community here is a, is a great vibe. Um, but the established companies, the ones that have gone through that startup phase and they're either now public or getting ready to file, is also vibrant. I mean, this is just a, a vibrant, young community. Um, we've got, of course, a great live music scene, and it's just growing like Something crazy. like 200 different music venues? Every night of the week. It's every night of the week, and, it, and the Austin City Limits uh, Music Festival is, is top, top rate. You can watch it on YouTube, right? And, and starting Thursday, there'll be over 2,000 bands play here over a four-day period. How many are you going to see? As many as I can get to. What are, do you have any that you're looking forward to? Um, it tends to be one, you, you tend to start out with a plan and that tends to fall apart really quick. After you, five years? Yeah, about <laughs> um, No, the music festival here is awesome. I, I wish I could, I always am jealous of people who could stay here because I, I've been here for seven seven days and I'm tired. <laughs> I need oh, to yeah. go home. <laughs> you need a vacation after South by Yeah, but Rocky and I are still trying to get back. It's in October is the, uh, the really big one yep, on the ACL. field. Right? ACL yep. is awesome. Uh, if you ever get a chance to do that, come out. You, you can hang out with lots of startups and uh, be drinking beer and listening to some great bands. Um, what else do we need to know about you, about your company? Um, we we think we're the most sophisticated system out there. We think we we help companies scale to that next level, and we challenge our customers to bring us any other billing problem because we there isn't there hasn't been one presented to us we can't handle yet. You're not just a cookie cutter. It sounds like this kind of thing. You need to sit down and actually work through how you do, how each company does billing, and, and do a little bit of customization. Is that true or not? That, that's true. We don't we don't do a customization. I mean, we're a true SaaS offering. Um, yeah. It's just that it's very configurable. But you're right. If you think about from business to business, the way businesses differentiate is on their business model primarily, and so every business model is implemented differently. And if you're going to try to automate, have this sort of financial management system that's the hub of your business, it has to be able to match up to your business model. And that's a complex, that's a complex problem. And you can't just buy an off-the-shelf package and, and click go and, and, and hope that it works for you because it won't. Very cool. Well, thank you for coming out. Where do we uh, learn more about it? Uh, you can uh, check out our website at uh, gotransverse.com. It's gotransverse.com. That's right. Thank you. When Rackspace's right. live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest daily. Hmm, so good, it hurts. The Open Cloud Experience.